Welcome back at Ceratizit. Today, Tom will guide us through the different production steps. Hi Tom, how are you doing? Great, thanks. I'm excited to show you all production steps here at Ceratizit. Join me to discover how your tailor-made parts are produced. The first production step for every tungsten carbide part is always compression. We have several different pressing technologies at our disposal and we're choosing always the most suitable one depending on the overall geometry, size, grade, but also lot size of the part that we need to produce. In this specific case, we have an isostatic dryback press next to us, which is producing a press blank that later on needs to be further transformed for it to resemble uh, the customer request that he really has. Follow me to see what this looks like. Now we are at the hand shaping departments where the press planks that you can see behind me are further transformed into their final shape. At this stage the final mechanical properties of the part are not yet reached which means they are still pretty fragile. Therefore handling for especially bigger and heavier parts can be pretty challenging as cracks or chippings may easily occur. See for example this part that I am able to break easily with my hands. What you can see here next to me is a rotary cutter currently being milled, which has been previously turned. The toolpath executed on this product is exactly the one we have previously defined in the computer-aided manufacturing software. Keep in mind the product is still very fragile, therefore feed rates and RPMs are still crucial. Once the part is finished here, it is ready to move on to sintering. Hi Benoit, so now that the parts have been formed and are inside of the sintering furnace, can you explain what is happening during sintering? Hi Tom, we manage the temperature uh, in order of the powder grad and we ensure uh, to keep the mechanical property at the end of the heating process. Mm -hmm. But we keep in mind during the process the dimension of part will reduce by the shrinkage uh, almost 30%. Okay, great, thanks. So once the sintering is done, we can move on to one of the final departments, which is grinding. Now we at the grinding department. The parts that we receive here are, come out of the furnace. That means they are as sintered. Surface finishes as well as dimensions and tolerances are still pretty wide and rough. We still need to grind the parts to, for them to meet the customer expectations. That's what we're doing here. Uh, the tolerances that are required in this department are very tight and narrow. Therefore, we constantly need to invest in new machinery and also invest in the know-how of our resources and people. Once the parts are done here, they can move to the final inspection. Before sending any parts to the customer, we pass them through final control, where we certify that the requirements of the customer are met. So now, as we can see here, this part is all good, so we're ready to move on to the shipping department. The piece is cautiously placed into the box and secured for transportation in order to avoid any kind of damage. Afterwards, the box is being labeled and then ready to send to the customer. 